Hey everybody, our fitness tip of the week is going to be lunges because we cannot emphasize enough how to do a lunge properly. So when you go to do a lunge, I want you to take a nice step. It's going to feel a little bit bigger than maybe is comfortable for you out in front. And then you're just going to drop that back knee down. You have to find these correctly and I apologize. So you'll notice down in your lunge position, you're going to have 90 degrees on your forward leg and 90 degrees on your back leg. And then all you're going to do is, if you're doing a stationary lunge, is push back on the heel of that forward leg and stand all the way back up. You'll again take a big step out, drop that back knee down, your heel comes up off the floor, your shoulders stay square over your hips. You're not leaning forward, you're not leaning back, you're not putting that knee out over your toe, which I have a hard time doing because I'm so good at doing them the proper way. So you'll just alternate, drop that knee, push off, and come back. If you're doing a reverse lunge, you just do the same thing. Step back, drop down in that 90 degrees, and then press off on the toe of the back leg to stand all the way up. When you get really good at your lunges, then you can incorporate weights, or you can do things like pendulum lunges where you do forward and then back on that same side. Or if you're needing a little bit more cardio, possibly, we can do jumping lunges. So you'll start in that split stance down in your lunge. All you're gonna do is switch your legs up in the air and drop it down. So as you, if your form is really good, you can get more complicated with it. So we wanna emphasize good form because we don't want anybody to hurt their knees. So. There's your video tip of the week. Good luck, guys.